Good afternoon. Together today, we celebrate the eighth Sunday in Ordinary Time. The annual Diocesan Appeal, one in hope and one in mission, begins this week. If you donated last year to the appeal, you will receive an envelope from the diocese. If you did not donate and would like to, there are envelopes available in the vestibule. Ash Wednesday will be celebrated this Wednesday, March 2nd, with the distribution of ashes at the 9 a.m., and 7 p.m. Masses. We invite you now to stand and join us in singing of our opening song, which is, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. No. No? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No, it's, it's a rightful place. A rightful place. A rightful place. <laughs> Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. My friends, let's pause briefly expressing our appreciation and gratitude to the mystery we call God, thanking God for God's continued love, mercy, and forgiveness. Kyrie on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Syrah. When a, sea, when a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. At the test of what the potter molds is in the furnace. So in tribulation, the test, so in tribulation is the test of the just. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's speech disclose the bent of one's mind. Praise no one before he speaks, for it is then that people are tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, 
When this which is corruptible clothes itself with incorruptibility, and this which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye? but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own. How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This past week, um, on a telephone conference with the bishop and uh, the people from uh, our diocese, the bishop was promoting again the, the collection that used to be called the Bishop's Appeal. Uh, however, uh, he wanted to change that. It's a diocesan appeal uh, where uh, we provide unity and hope and mission. And I think uh, basically, which is kind of interesting, is, is that uh, for the most part, he said uh, the bishop's appeal 
kind of uh, had a kind of a notion that we're, we're collecting so you can buy a car thing, huh? But you know, 60% of, of this collection goes to Catholic Charities, uh, and they helped. Uh, if you're gonna look at a sign, there'll be all kind of things later on. You know, how many uh, people they've helped through the process of uh, the year with the, with the monies given in this, uh, in this uh, collection. And uh, also then the 40% is the uh, given different um, uh, offices uh, in, the, in the diocese in order to promote um, the marriages, et cetera, uh, the youth ministry and all of the things in, in the diocese. And first of all, I'd like to thank you for your generosity in this. Uh, and uh, if you've uh, probably given before, you'll find that you'll be getting, giving, get, be getting uh, uh, one of these uh, things in the, in the mail. Uh, they have, uh, but uh, if, you, if you don't get one and, and, and you'd like to uh, contribute, there'll be, there'll be there's, there's uh, envelopes in the back uh, in the rack, and, and next week they'll be in the pews. So uh, thank you for your for your support. <clears throat> it is in the fullness of the heart that the mouth speaks. These words are taken from this afternoon's gospel. On one particular day in a rather large city, a woman was in a hurry to get to an appointment. And you know as well as I that if you're in a hurry to get someplace, you're always kind of contained by the red lights or stop signs, huh? Well, it just happened that she was behind a car uh, with a red light, and um, she was very anxious, kind of bouncing around in her seat and waiting for the light to turn green, well, the light turned green, and uh, the man in front didn't move. So needless to say, she began pounding on her horn, yelling and screaming obscenities, also uh, obscenities with her hand, and just going crazy, and the guy uh, evidently, were, I don't know how what he was doing, but he finally kind of uh, woke up in a sense, and uh, the light was turning yellow, bingo, he goes, and she's still stranded, huh? So she's livid. So um, in, a, in a couple couple minutes, while sitting there, uh, she has a tap on a window, and it's a policeman. And the policeman uh, says, "Pull your car over the side, stop your car, shut the shut the motor off, and um, get out of the car." Well, she was just didn't know what was happening. Usually, she's articulate, but she couldn't even speak. He handcuffs her, puts her in the back of the, of, the, of the cruiser, takes her down to the station, huh? Well, um, after, after probably uh, maybe about 12 minutes or 13 minutes, she's sitting there uh, just uh, out of her wits, doesn't even know how to, how to communicate or what to say. Uh, they come up and they say, ma'am, we've made a mistake, huh? <laughs> really, uh, and we, we beg your, your, your forgiveness. Because I was behind you, this policeman said, and I, I saw on the back of your car, it said on your license plate, I worship at St. Joseph's. And uh, there was a sticker, what would Jesus do? And then you had a fish on the back. I thought this could not be the person who owns this car. It must be stolen, huh? <laughs> well, and uh, so, it's, it's really kind of an interesting thing is because, I mean, myself, um, there are many, many times uh, I <laughs> wouldn't hope that a policeman was behind me, not just in a car, but how many times I've, you know, gone all kind of craziness, so to speak. Uh, I'm, and I'm ashamed to admit it, but that's, uh, but I didn't control myself. So uh, that happens probably to all of us, huh? Uh, hopefully it doesn't, uh, doesn't, hopefully nobody heard me or saw, you know, with regard this, huh? Well, Jesus uh, over there uh, in this final, I think, phase on his servant on the plane uh, tries to give us some, some help. Because we all, we all need help and we all, we're, all, we're all human and we, we've, we fail. Uh, and I'd like to look at, first of all, uh, about... Looking at uh, the speck in my own eye rather than looking at the speck in your eye. 
uh, because I found in my own experiences that uh, if there are things that uh, I didn't like about someone, which would be kind of like the speck in their eye, huh? It's easier to see things in somebody else's eye, but when I really thought about it deeply, the thing I didn't like in that person was something that was in, in me too, but I would not admit it. Finally, when you admit it, when I admit it, I can take this speck out of my own eye, and, and the speck in the other eye, person's eye is gone too because I have the same difficulty, huh? So have the same problem. And so uh, through that process, Jesus said, uh, as a result, uh, when you start realizing something like that, uh, otherwise you're gonna, the blind just bleed the blind. If you, if you have specks in your eye, you have beams in your eye, you, can't, you might as well be blind, huh? So where are we going to look for, for some help? Well, basically, the great mystery we call Jesus gives us all sorts of help. He's trying to tell us that we need to be forgiving, we need to be understanding, we need to be compassionate, we need to be kind, and we need to try to, uh, uh, you know, realize that uh, uh, we're not always right. <laughs> you know, uh, people, uh, there's probably no right or wrong because that person thinks they're right and we think, well, the basic thing is, is that they're human, we're all human, and maybe we could just see, go beyond our imperfections and see the great mystery we call God. That's what we then we would start have sight, sight rather than blindness because we kind of think when we when, we, when I personally uh, I'm looking at myself at this when I, if I would uh, articulate and, and talk about to somebody else's difficulties or problems uh, basically uh, uh, I should be talking I, I mean I'm not I should be forgiving uh, understanding uh, and the thing is is that we need I need to turn so so is all of us looking at the Christ. Because then we talk about the teacher, huh? Uh, who, who are we going to... Uh, and a student is not above the teacher. Uh, and so uh, the point is, is that we need to learn from the great teacher who is the Christ. And we're going to fail, yeah, but we're not going to be perfect. But the point is, is that we need to continually uh, think when, when there's opportunities, not opportunities, but when we find ourselves criticizing, we have to start thinking, huh? And, and, and looking at our own self and, and realizing that that's not the right way to do it, huh? That's not going to help them. It's, and all it's going to do is, is cause this discomfort or, 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 or spreading uh, or, or widening uh, our relationship with an individual. And so, so the scripture, uh, he gives us some help. So uh, let, we need to try to remove the specks in our own eyes, look Jesus the Christ as a, a teacher, and not only the fact there's a teacher uh, to help us to, to live life betterly, or better, to, to realize that <clears throat> it is from uh, our heart that we speak. And then they talk about a tree, huh? And a tree bearing good fruit, tree bearing bad fruit, and it seems like everything is coming from our heart. Uh, now, this, you know, this is a metaphor, too. The, tree, <clears throat> the trees out there are beautiful with the ice and everything out there. And, uh, but basically, they're looking like they're dead, huh? But they're not dead. They're going to come to life soon. You know? They're going to pop up, hopefully, with, with warm weather. And, uh, and, and, and so, as a result, uh, uh, we, too, uh, have a heart. And uh, this heart uh, is all of the good things from the mystery because the Christ presence is within each one of us. The Christ presence is there within our heart. And I've been reading where scientists are telling us too that uh, we don't just think with our brain, we think uh, with our cells, we think with our heart. And the heart is uh, there for, for loving, not only loving but caring, being understanding and, care and, uh, and forgiving. And so it is through our heart that we speak. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, 
was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, seeth the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> We collect our prayers and needs for all and, 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 and approach our loving, merciful, caring God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, the body of Christ, that all may know unity in Christ Jesus, and may they always look for ways to proclaim the gospel of Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world. May people everywhere prioritize wisdom and justice in order to bring about peaceful solutions to all our current conflicts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the coming of the Lenten season be a time of repentance and renewal for each of us individually and the world at large. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer for those who will be welcomed into the church at Easter. May they grow in wisdom during these final weeks of preparation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are gathered here today and those who are not able to attend, may we be nourished by Christ in the Eucharist, mindful that he is the bread for our journey. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We especially remember John Petrunia. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for people in the Ukraine so that there eventually will be peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Thank you, God, for loving us and working with us and through us. We make our prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy and love that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O God, Father of infinite goodness, for by the word of Jesus' gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and have filled her with life by the power of your spirit. And you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, the church dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the signs of your faithfulness which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last forever. And so with all powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the church as one voice we acclaim. O God, for you indeed love the human race, and who always walk with each one of us while we journey through life. Blessed indeed is Jesus present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when it was for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, God, most loving and merciful, we ask that you send forth your spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and he said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Now do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. God, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal mystery of Christ that has been handed on to us. 
And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of Jesus, whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church in the Diocese of Youngstown and our church in Cortland by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and all people, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops in the world tur torn by strife. Your people shall shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember now our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, remembering especially this afternoon John Petrunia. Admit John to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give John the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles, with the martyrs, with our patron, St. Robert, with St. John, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus the Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, 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 peace. peace be with you. Peace be with you. Jesus, who loves us all unconditionally, invites us all to share this Eucharistic mystery of life and love. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy and love, Lord, that by that same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Almighty God, bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.